Void mistakes in assembly that can lead to leakage of electrolyte or sample or to the drawing of ion exchange membranes. First assemble both chambers without the membrane to ensure that all of the components fit properly. We will first assemble the anode chamber, which again is designated by the red button. Note that the two electrode chambers and ion exchange membranes are not interchangeable, but the four gray rubber gaskets can be used in either assembly. Pick up the inner component. Surrounding the inner hole, there is a series of six smaller holes that provide current flow between the electrode and focusing chambers. Place one silicone gasket over the two alignment pins so that the three oblong holes on the gasket do not obstruct those six holes. It is important that you adjust the placement of the gasket if necessary until it fits properly because any obstruction of these six holes will lead to leakage and voltage fluctuation problems later during focusing. Place the second gasket on top of the first gasket in the same configuration, making sure again that the six holes of the electrolyte chamber are not obstructed. These pre-assembly steps are important because they ensure that all components are in the correct orientation when those six holes are still visible. When the ion exchange membrane is put in place, those holes will no longer be visible. The outer component has two holes that connect with the alignment pins on the inner component. Fasten the halves of the electrode chamber together, making sure that those metal alignment pins fit into their corresponding holes. Tighten the captive threaded sleeve to ensure proper fit of all components. Next, repeat the assembly process for the cathode chamber. We will now add the ion exchange membrane to the anode chamber. Carefully peel away the outer component and the upper gray gasket in a manner that preserves their orientation with the bottom gasket. Remember, you will not be able to check the orientation of this gasket once the ion exchange membrane is placed between them. Any misalignment will cause leaks and voltage errors during the run. Using forceps, remove the pre-equilibrated cation exchange membrane from its acidic electrolyte solution. The membrane has two notches that match with the alignment pins. If the membrane does not align well, then you have picked up the wrong inner component or the wrong membrane. This mistake is prevented with the pre-assembly steps we just demonstrated. Place the cation exchange membrane on top of the gray gasket by aligning the notches on the membrane with the pins on the inner electrode compartment. Carefully cover the membrane with the other gray gasket and refasten the halves of the electrode assembly. Next, remove the vent button, which is located near the red button. and fill the anode chamber about three quarters of the way full with the acidic electrolyte solution to prevent the membranes from drying out. Replace the vent button. Repeat all of these steps with the cathode chamber using anion exchange membrane and the basic electrolyte solution.